Here's a brain teaser kind of little surprising geometry fact. So imagine you have the Earth, right? And you tie a ribbon all the way around the equator. So this ribbon is running on the ground all the way around the equator. So it's really long. Okay, now you have a second ribbon. And this ribbon is running one meter above the ground. So it's just like the first one, but it's running one meter over the ground. Okay, so how much longer does this second ribbon have to be compared to the first one? And intuitively, from my gut, I'd say it needs to be a lot longer, right? It's, the Earth is really big, it's running one meter above the ground all the way around, should be a lot longer. But if you look at it, actually, that's not really true, right? So what's the first ribbon's length? Okay, well, it's a circle, and the circumference, the circumference is like 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius. So in this case, that's the Earth radius. And that's something like 6,400 kilometers, whatever. Okay, and the second ribbon... So that's 2 times pi times r plus 1, 1 meter more, 3 feet more. The radius is just a bit increased because it's running above the ground. Okay, so this is 2 times pi times the Earth radius plus 2 times pi times 1 meter. Now, we see that the first part, that's just the same, 2 times pi times r, and then the second part, that's... 2 times pi times 1 meter, that's around about 6.28 meters, something like 21 feet. And that might be a bit surprising, right? Just 6.28 meters, something like 21 feet, that's not a lot at all. And it all comes down to the formula, and that's linear in R, right? It's 2 times pi times R. So it doesn't matter what radius you start out with. As long as you increase the radius by 1 meter, the circumference is always going to increase just by around about 6.28 meters, 2 times pi. And it doesn't matter if your original circle just had a radius of 1 meter or 6,400 kilometers, no difference.